Hello, hello beautiful people and welcome here on my YouTube channel. In today's video we will talk about SPF and about the sunscreen that I'm using now on my daily routine. Here on my channel I have another video about solar protection factor. If you want to see it I will leave a link in the description box. I decided to do another video to show you the products that I am using now. I don't want to repeat myself and I will not go again through general information about SPF. I will only mention that we have two types of SPF, mineral SPF and chemical SPF. Mineral SPF suit better sensitive skin. The disadvantage of mineral SPF is that leaves that white cast on the surface of the skin. Chemical SPF are using chemical filters. It's not important which one you will choose, a mineral SPF or a chemical SPF. The important thing is to use one daily. My skin tolerates very well both mineral SPF and chemical SPF. I'm very lucky. The last mention before moving to the sunscreen that I'm using, I have normal to dry skin. Now let's move to the SPF that I am using now. And I will start with a mineral SPF. It's from Kate Somerville, Daily Deflector. Mineral Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum SPF 30, UVB plus UVA protection. This sunscreen is cruelty free and fragrance free. The formula is lightweight, is absorbing easy into the skin. Because it's a mineral sunscreen, it leaves that white cast on the surface of the skin. It's not too bad. <laughs> With this SPF, you need to be careful when you apply it around the eyes. Don't go too close to the eyes. <laughs> What I don't like in this sunscreen is the smell. It has that chemical standard SPF scent. I will be honest, I feel it as long as I wear it, it doesn't disappear. You need to leave it at least 10 minutes before applying makeup products on top of it. This way your makeup products will layer very nice. Well, in my case, things work this way. Let's move to the next sunscreen, which I adore. It's from Supergoop, Unseen Sunscreen with SPF 30. I adore this sunscreen. It's completely invisible on the skin. The formula is lightweight, is applying effortless. It protects against UVA rays, UVB rays and blue light too. As you know, with the SPF, you need to apply a generous amount of a product on the skin. Because of the formula of this sunscreen, it's so easy to apply it. In my case, I leave at least 20 minutes to this sunscreen to sink well into the skin and only after I apply makeup products on top of it. It wears great, it doesn't look greasy. You know that sunscreen may look a bit greasy, a bit too glowy. <laughs> Here isn't the case. I like it very, very much. Another amazing sunscreen which I like a lot is from Dermalogica Solar Defense Booster with SPF 50, UVB plus UVA protection. Well, this sunscreen is amazing. It has a lightweight formula, is absorbing very fast into the skin, no white cast. It has a nice scent, it feels moisturizing. As a disadvantage, it is a bit glowy, it's not greasy at all, just has an extra shine. If I go out, I prefer to apply a powder on top of it. As an opinion about this SPF, a very, very good sunscreen. I love it. And the last sunscreen which I tried is a sample from Dr. Dennis Gross. All Physical Lightweight Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And this sunscreen formula is great, it's fragrance free. It has a very, very nice formula, which is absorbing very fast into the skin. It leaves a very light white cast on the surface of the skin. Well, for me it's okay, it's not something that bothers me. It wears very nice, it's non greasy, a very, very nice sunscreen. Okay, beautiful people, and this was the products which I wanted to show you. I hope you'll find today's video useful. A huge thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye!